Hey everybody, this is Jessica and I thought I'd do another little demo to show you how I used um, my color, my copy and paste color chart within Illustrator and made something that looks like this, like a little um, wreath, little set of leaves. And then I turned it into this quite easily. So to begin with, I'm going to grab, touch, let's see here, get on the right layer. I'm going to touch this brush here so that that's the brush that I use. And as always, I paint in the gold and then I color it later. So I'm going to make something like this. All right, that looks cool. Let's add the next layer. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's see here. That looks all right. And then we'll use the top part. So very cool. The next thing that I want to do is I actually want these to be kind of tucked in. So I'm going to grab these four strokes, go object, arrange, bring to front so that it tucks underneath there. I'm going to select these two, and these two bottom ones, go to object, arrange, bring to front. And now it looks a little bit nicer. It's all tucked in. So I'm going to take that, maybe move that up a little bit. Alrighty, so we've got the base. So the next thing to do is we want to add the color. So I'm going to, what shall I do? I think I'll select them all, take my eyedropper tool, and click like this. So by default, you know, it's going to make it that purple. But now I think I'll pick, I'll go down here to my color. Um, you can go up here. Very important thing, I almost skipped this. When you've got all these selected, you go up here and you want to make sure you're touching the top one, which is the color layer. And here we can just put a green on it. And that looks pretty cool. Um, if you want to get more, you know, picky about your color, you can go down here to this color spectrum and play around and find the color like you just want. This is a little bit more blue. Just find one that works good for me. Eh, that'll be fine. Good enough for the demo. So the next thing I want to do is I want to darken these two bottom ones. So I'm going to select them, go over into my appearance thing, and I want to um, turn on this second stroke, which by default is off. And that's the one that makes it really darker. So I'm going to select that. And that puts that layer on, and it's quite dark, 100% soft light. Um, I might just change the opacity just a bit, like maybe 86. So that's my darkest one, and we kind of want to make this ombre sort of effect. So for this one, I want to lighten this up a bit. So I'm going to select only this stroke, go to my appearance, and I'm actually going to maybe turn off this overlay so that looks quite light. So it's really cool, and I just made this really neat little ombre sort of appearance kind of like that one. So that's how easy it is to make something like that. And I color controlled it all within Illustrator, which is really nice. And then the next thing you can do is I could actually turn this into an art brush and then make something like that quite easy. So what I'll do is I'm going to take this, select everything, just drag this over into my brush panel. Let's make it a new art brush. You could even make, turn it into a pattern brush, whatever. But for this demo, I'll make an art brush. Click OK. And I want the direction to go the other way. So there we go, like that. So this is the tail whenever you're drawing it. And then I will click, I'll just leave it stretch between stroke length, click OK. And now let's go down here, select this brush. And as you can see, let's see here, did I grab the wrong brush? Okay. Let's see. Nope, that's not it. Let's just double click this bad boy. Okay, I left it on the wrong way. Whoops, my bad. All right, so there, let's go there. That's the fixed one. Make sure that it's stroking the right way. Okay, you know what? Okay, let's just delete this one here and start again. Actually, it's easier if I turn it this way. There we go. Um, you can do it, drag it in either way, however you like. Okay, art brush, that's the right direction, okay. So let's see if we can get this to work here. Let's just try to draw one of these. Okay, cool. So now it's working. I'm not really sure what I was, I think I was just pointing it in the wrong direction before. 
So that's really cool, but I kind of want it um, a smaller, thinner stroke. So I'm going to put this at 0.5, and that looks kind of cool. So I'm going to cut this, let's see here, and just kind of play around with drawing some things like this. And there you go. So you can, you know, it's just about building up pieces. You know, you make this piece, and then you can turn it in this piece, and then you can turn it into something quite cool and complicated um, just by harnessing Illustrator's technology. So I turn that into a brush and you know you can turn this into like some really cool pattern. Um, you can make it a pattern brush. Just do like a lot of fun things and this like looks like you... I like doing things like this um, creating my pieces and then taking it further with um, all of the technology that Il Illustrator has because this would look like you drew something that you took a lot of time and you made all these effects and everything but really it was just making you know putting it together in pieces so it was really cool and that's a uh, something that I do a lot in Illustrator is harnessing that brush technology to make um, things you know repeated you know repeat things turn them in another direction make a flower um, you know put it different ways it looks like you you know you don't have to just draw it over and over again you want it going this way or what have you so very cool use of illustrator and then i'll just um stop there and try to add some more videos soon